the rivers lie? Do we run to the mouth of the Niger or the bank of River Benue? Do we hide behind the promises of our leaders or rise as one? Do we wash our hands of this bloody bowl, bow our heads and say we are done with this dish? And the one and only way out is Japa. Motherland, this giant torn apart by forces of conflict and our ailing democracy. A land where children fear to sleep or dream too big, where we look over our shoulders with suspicion as generations of unhealed trauma breathe down our necks. Some born in the fierce heat of corruption, yet in our tears are stories of tenderness, letters of our creativity, as we inscribe our signature on every continent and on every art bold enough to love. We are the precious stones of our bejeweled land. There are riches locked within you, one, two, and three. This land rises when we break the shackles of our mind. The slave order is reflected in how we think and act. Let this elevation free you to more. When we flip the chains of slavery and yank off some standardness and entitlement. When we do not wash our hands off our obligations, abandoning higher reasoning in a chase to boil the ocean. When we are the source of our nation's cleansing, flowing with our own salvation, as this new nation becomes our personal commitment, a path forged by the quality of our little actions, we are rising together. This elevating is an authentic encounter with truth. Would you dare to take a mirror to your soul and step towards healing, towards oneness? My mother told me of the elevation strategy of unclenching as babes with unclenched hands raised up anticipate a lifting. How would the universe release your tomorrow if you cannot stretch for it? How would even God give to a close heart and hand? This is a call to elevate as one and as a country. This elevating is a chiseling out of chaos, a masterpiece, catalyzing the rising of our nation as we get to work. For this is the season we live in the reality of our world this nation of many colors a rising rainbow coasting along the atlantic ocean our elevation is a favor all the coming generation your elevation is a favor hold yourself own your own reviver transform your frustrations to solution revelations see the genesis of something truly magical is an elevation of the mind this is an invitation to love and courage find your laurels bring in your laurels and i'll bring mine so we can do this dance of elevation together and rules coloring our views pushes the vision like a cloak so tight we can't breathe freedom systems and governments may not always be fair can you rely on yourself to be fair break your own bias every citizen is deserving of honor let's dazzle with brilliance and this brilliance is not the prerogative of one gender Man, woman, elevate, do not consent to descending standards. This transitioning is an upward movement. Elevate, let no stereotyping kill your confidence. Confidence is our conscious choice. For the Nigerian dream is a resilient one. For the Nigerian dream is a resilient one. A willingness to show up and step up, blessing the earth with our essence, our genius, our music, our food, our love. This confidence is a stubborn armor, tenaciously striking at our own prejudices. We are rising with courage, challenging wrongs and questioning assumptions. With our spirits unbroken, we are breaking biases, drying up the wells of injustice. Break the bias in domestic violence. The skirt is not a signal to violation. A mouth does not ask for slaps when she speaks her opinion. In the acclaimed land of the happiest people on earth, our streets 
should not be battlefields, train rides should not board a disappearance, a bus ride should not transport one to the grave, one chance. No, your feast should not take a star away from a galaxy and the many things we do not talk about. No, breathe. Motherland, breathe. I pledge to love you enough to arise, to quit waiting for light and become the light. So where do the rivers lie? I'd say, flowing from the fatal crescent of our hearts, rising from within us to heal our land. We will flow across the length and breadth of Nigeria, from Abiriba to Abuja, from the smallest village to the highest cathedral in Lagos. We will rise and our land will rise. Nigeria, eh, 